hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day how are you guys and girls doing hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box all the nice links also drop a like subscribe for like content boom easy i hope you heard that that was a that was a pretty nice intro um but seriously i hope you're doing great last video last few videos we've been working with uh, animations so that's always fun right but since the last one I actually uh, made some changes uh, so let me just open up this this little folder that I have uh, where is it no wrong one okay and we're gonna go into resource files images sprites player and then I made a little player sheet okay and I added the attack animation now the thing with the attack animation is it needs more space so it's it's a lot bigger right as you can see, I hope you can see that. And uh, I fixed the movement and the idle animation so they're all centered like they should be, like intended by the artist. So it's pretty good. Let me just show you this one quickly, the actual GIMP folder. I hate saying that, GIMP. Uh, I don't know why I named it GIMP, but because I'm sure it's something weird. Uh, but still good image processor okay i'm pretty sure that's what it stands for i'm not i'm just kidding no uh but here you go here's the thing see it's not the the actual uh sprites are not at the bottom here but this is like the artist intended uh and the same thing for the walk animation and let me just turn the back on so you can see what the hell's going on so this is how i kind of create my um create my sprites or these sprite sheets using individual sprites, right? So I just want to show you this. I want to show you that the attack animation uses double two of these boxes for each sprite, for each frame, while the other ones use one. So there are ways we we can, uh, in our animation component, uh, that we're using this, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and use this picture and add a attack animation, and we're going to work a little bit with the animation component and uh, to make sure that we can kind of, kind of use that. Now... Also, I changed the walk speed to 8, okay? So you lower it to make it faster. So I made it 8, uh, so the walk looks a little better. But let me just go ahead and add an attack animation. This animation component, add animation, add animation, attack. Now, we're not going to be able to use this right yet because our animation component isn't that advanced. So I'm going to put 7.f on here, 0, um two okay remember two here because this is the y coordinate and this is the third kind of series from the top right so zero the first one is zero the second is one the third one is two okay it's like the series going horizontally basically um and then we're gonna say it's gonna go up to i think it's 13 frames from zero to 13 frames also two here and now here's the difference since it uses two times the width for each frame, I'm going to do 192 multiplied by 2. Okay. And I'm going to say uh, 192 for the for the width here. So there you go. Boom. Okay. Now we can make it even more secure for the animation component by giving it some height and width for each frame. So we can just use that here. But this makes it a little more customizable if we wanted to... Uh, to add different types of things in there the things that aren't exactly 192 right so we can specify our frame size here just like we want to but anyway that gives me the attack now i think it was 13 frames that counted last so it should be fine now we have it we have one problem in our uh, animation component as well and that is that if one animation is playing uh, you can't really give it priority to finish before another one starts playing so um, obviously it isn't that complex I'm just going to add these things here so you can see a little better. But to show you that the attack animation works, I'm just going to change uh, the idle to attack. And then we're going to work on this as we go when we need it. And we're going to make sure we can make a play function that is uh, that is a little more complicated. And you can give priority to these animations and one animation can finish before another one starts. See, so this is, uh, this is basically the attack animation. See how it uses two frames? That looks pretty cool, right? Now it isn't really in the box. Now everything in the box is different because I changed the animations. 
but they look a lot better now. Um, so I'm just going to change this back to idle. I just want to show you that it's possible. Uh, we did add it. Now we'll leave it there. Uh, but that's how that is. Now we got to fix the, uh, the hitbox component to make sure that it's, um, it's at the bottom or not at the bottom as basically. Uh, so, so let's see, we have the size size is pretty good. This is the height of it. And this is this, but we need to change the, the X and the Y positioning. So let me just change this to, let's see how it looks again, just once. Let's see how it looks. Uh, okay, so there we go. So we need to bring it up a little bit. Just the Y coordinate, maybe up maybe five, six pixels or something. Five or six pixels. So bringing it up means we lower it less. So let me put this to 75. And let's see how that looks. And then we'll go ahead and make a little function and animation component. Um, so there we go. Okay, that, that looks all right, I guess. That looks okay. A little, maybe a pixel more or something. Maybe 74 or something like that. And that's fine. Whatever. We'll keep it like that. Doesn't matter. Looks good. The focus of this one is going to go in. We're going to go into animation component. We're going to add another function that actually lets us customize at what speed the play is going to be play is going to be done basically um so we can give it a a value here which will um which will uh, update the animation in a certain certain way so so i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking how are we going to do this we want to give it a uh, give it a value any max value so maybe I'll just make another play function go into H let's just make another play function so this is just straight up play and this is going to use a const float modifier all right const float modifier we can give it any value we want and we'll put that as a reference most probably it's going to be velocity or something like that, some float. And then a const float modifier max. So we can calculate the percentage um, of, uh, of what's going on. We're not going to put that as a reference, or we could actually do that as well. Um, but basically, we're going to give it like velocity here. And we're going to say the velocity's max value is going to be 200. And then we're going to calculate a percentage out of these. Okay, and that percentage is going to be something between 0 to 1. And that percentage is going to be multiplied with the timer of, of which... Um, yeah, of which uh, we're going to... We're going to proceed with the animation and the timer and everything. So, so yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Let's just, let's just copy this. Let's start with this. We don't know. Okay. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Actually, I'm just going to copy this first. So it's, we're going to have two play animations. Um, and then we're going to use the modifiers in the other one. So this is a good example of, uh, kind of overloading a function almost. That's exactly what it is. And then we're going to just use these modifiers. And so that's cool. That is another function. We'll leave it at that. Let's open animation component dot H here and open the class animation because here the play, here's where the play function is. Okay. This is where it is. And, uh, and we can just use a cause float reference modifier and a const float reference modifier max here as well. And then we'll just copy the play function, put it down here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, my bad. But we can just remove this, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so there you go, we have the regular play function and we have the modifier player version. So what basically is gonna happen is I'm going to calculate 
the percentage of of this. So I'm going to do that on the fly. I'm going to do a hundred. I'm actually going to multiply that within a parentheses here. We're going to multiply that with the hundred. And basically it can't be less than zero. So let's see. Modifier divided by modifier max multiplied by 100. So this is going to give us a percentage. And this percentage will be multiplied by 100 and then the DT and everything. And that will add the timer depending on the modifier. And then that should be that should pretty much be it, I guess. That should pretty much be it. Okay. And obviously this could be zero, so we won't even go up animate anymore. Um, but for our case with the velocity, it won't really be zero, so it should be fine. I'm sorry, I'm really slow. I'm just thinking on my feet here. So let's just go quickly. We have this animation component. We have the other play thing. So let's go ahead and use that. Let's do the play for walk. And we're going to use uh, this movement component. Get velocity. Um, dot X. So this is for moving left. And then the max is going to be... movement component right uh, let's go into movement component dot h let's see what we have we have a um, get state get velocity max i want to get max velocity const sf uh, no const float reference get max velocity const. I'm just going to define this and this is what we're going to need. Um, come on, come on, man. Come on. So slow today. I don't know why. I need to kind of restart this shit. Uh, there we go. So we're going to go into movement component CPP and we're just going to quickly define this function right here, get max velocity. And I'm going to put it, or I'm actually just going to say accessors here so I know what the hell's going on. Return this max max velocity max velocity. Okay, so there you go. Now we get a reference back of max velocity. So if I go back to animation component, no, if I go back to player.cp here, and then we say this movement component get max velocity. So I get that and I get the x here. Uh, so cool. That actually returns a reference get velocity. And this just returns a copy. So that could be an issue there. But let's try doing that. Let's see. Because this is going to be negative. This is going to be positive. Probably going to get a negative value out here. So probably don't want that. Hmm. Probably not going to be that good for us. Oh, it's, I think it is kind of, kind of working. I'm not sure if it is. If it's not, we're probably going to have to change it up a little bit. But it's, it seems fine. It seems fine. Uh, before I end the video, I'm just going to do this. We'll keep working on this on the, in the next video. I'm going to look at it a little better um, before I do, though. And let's just add this to each one of these. Okay, but for the Y, for the up and down, just change this to Y, okay? Just change that to Y. And then let's just run it one more time before I end it. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. And then we're going to have to, we're going to have to test this a little bit. Okay, I, th I don't know if that is actually working or not, but it, I think... 
it might be okay you know what we're gonna we're gonna do so i'm gonna do some testing and then i'm gonna show you in the next video what we got to do to make this perfect okay uh but for now thank you for watching sorry about slow video just thinking on my feet here uh but uh but still thanks for all the support thanks for watching take care keep working hard also check out the description box like i said and hopefully i'll see you in the next one all right bye bye